All right, ladies and gentlemen, bonjour, bonjour, welcome to this tutorial. As you saw in the image before, we're going to create a kind of stylized slash semi-realistic looking strawberry in here. It's going to be pretty cool. We're going to learn a lot of cool stuff. And of course, because I'm French, I had to throw in the eclair in there, you know, the chocolate covered eclair. Man, those are good. I don't know. Have you guys ever had one? Leave it in the comments down below. All right, so going off my French theme, you know, you can't have a chocolate-covered strawberry without a chocolate-covered eclair in there. So let's do this thing. Before we get started, just want to let you know about the course I just released in like 10 seconds. If you don't know about it, where have you been? It's awesome. It's a course I put together for you. Hours and hours of content, hundreds of videos, and it's absolutely amazing. I put it together for you, so click the link down below and check it out. It's from A to Z about Blender. So if you want to learn Blender, I'm telling you, check out this course. All right, once again, link in the description. Now, let's do this thing. Let's create our strawberry. All right, deleting the default cube with the X key and delete. We don't need that thing there. Unfortunately, a default cube is never used. All right, let's go ahead and add in a mesh circle. We're going to change this to six of vertices. So let's type in the number six and then hitting tab to go into edit mode, S and X to scale it down. Yes, obviously we would type in the number six, Alex. All right. Now alt right click all these vertices or just A to select all of them. E to extrude, right click to leave it in the center and then S to scale it up. And then E to extrude one more. And then S to scale it up even more. All right, cool. So now what we're going to do is basically we want to square this off because this is going to be the start of our strawberry. Believe it or not, yes, this is a strawberry. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead. And how we're going to square it off is basically we're going to turn on the snapping tool. So down here you can see this magnet. And this snapping tool allows for you to snap parts of your mesh to different parts of your mesh or different... Uh, elements via here. So we're going to change the element to vertex. This will allow for us to snap our vertices to other vertices. And we could either turn this on or an easier way is just to hit G and then Y. And then if you hold down control, it will snap it to that vertice. So hit G, Y, and then hold down control to snap it to here. And then shift right clicking these two other vertices. Let's bring this up a little bit to about here. Let's do the same with this one, G, Y, and then snap it to about there. And then shift right click these vertices and bring them down. All right, now I'm just going to alt right click all this, S, X to scale it on the X axis. And then S to scale it up just in general. All right, <laughs> shift right clicking all three of these, F to fill in that face, F to fill in that face, and then Alt right clicking and F to fill in that face. Boom! There we go. All right, hopefully I didn't break your, break your eardrum with that boom. Now let's hit Control Tab, go into Face Select Mode. And with these three trusty faces right here, by Shift right clicking, let's bring it down to about so. And then now what we're going to do, I'm going to try to say to about so not so many times in this tutorial because I tend to say that a lot. We're now going to hit shift A. We're going to add in a circle. And this one is going to have four vertices. So quatre in French. And then R, X, 90 degrees. And then scale it way down to about so, I was going to say. Control tab, go into vertex select mode. That's strike one for me. Let's hit E to extrude Y. Scale it on the Y axis. And then E to extrude one more time Y. And hit W, merge at center, and bada boom, bada bing. All right, alt right click these, E to extrude, Y, not Y, like why are you doing that, but on the Y axis. And then E to extrude on the Y axis one more time, W, merge at center. Cool. Now alt right clicking this middle uh, edge loop, S, X to scale it on the X axis. And then... Let's go ahead and hit Control L, which will select the links. S, Z, scale this down on the Z axis, and S to scale it down in general. 
All right, cool. Now it's it looks like it's sticking into it a little bit, but what we're gonna do is hit control two, add a subdivision surface level of two. And now I actually do want to alt right click all these vertices right here and then hit the S key, scale it down and S and Y to scale it down the Y axis just a little bit. Cool. And then of course going over here and smoothing it out so that it doesn't, we don't have a blocky strawberry. I mean, I know, come on, in the US, I know we have GMO strawberries and all that, but they're not blocky just yet. Cool, so now that we got that, all we're gonna do is in edit mode, A to select everything, Shift D, and bring this down to about here, and then hit G and Control to snap it there so that these vertices line up with these vertices, and then A to select everything, W, remove doubles, and it should say remove two vertices, and basically what that does is it combines the two vertices that were overlapping one on top of the other. Cool. Now, going to the Modifiers tab, we're gonna add in an Array modifier. So add modifier, Array, and if you don't know what an Array modifier is, I mean, come on, that's part of the test at the end of this video. I'm just kidding. <laughs> so the array modifier basically duplicates your mesh a certain number of times via this number right here without actually you having to duplicate the edited part of it. So you can see that right here, we could just increase this to three, which is what we're gonna do. And now what we wanna do is in decrease the relative offset. So this is the amount that it is offset by, and this is the X, Y, and Z axis. And then we're gonna click on first and last and uh, first and last and merge, which is gonna merge the first and last and the other ones. Now, all we have to do is first of all, it's critically important what order the modifiers are in. So we wanna make sure that the array modifier is the first one. So click the up arrow to bring it to the first one. And now if we increase the distance right here, you're saying, Alex, nothing's happening. Wait for it. All right, let's also, let's also bring this down one more. There we go. And then increase the distance. Let me increase it even more. There we go. All right. So increase the distance to the point where, boom, it starts to merge. Now, if the array modifier was second, you can see that it still has it. So make sure the array modifier is first. All right, I warned you now, if it's not first, that's, that's on you now. <laughs> All right, we're gonna apply this array modifier. And the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna add some variation to our strawberry. So hitting tab to go into edit mode. Let's hit Z to go into wireframe and then C to bring up our brush tool. And then left click and drag over these to select them. And what I want to do, yeah. Just gonna bring them like that. Bring these over there. So just kind of randomize these. I'm not gonna tell you where to put them because that would be defeat the purpose of randomization. Just put them wherever you want, you know, within the box, of course. Don't bring them out here. He needs to stay within the box. All right, cool. So now what that does is it adds a little bit of variation and randomness to the seeds. Pretty cool. Now. All we have to do is go ahead and we're gonna add in a material to this because this is gonna make it that much simpler for later on in the tutorial. Let's switch it over to Cycles Renderer first and then go to the Materials tab and click on New Material and we're gonna name it Strawberry Red and then make it red <laughs> and then hit Control C over with your mouse hovered over the color, which will copy it. And then going down to settings, control V on the viewport color. So this color right here is basically the color that will be rendered. And this right here is as the name implies, the color in the viewport. Hitting tab to go into edit mode, let's select by shift right clicking one vertex, just one ladies and gentlemen, from each of the seeds. And then control L, which will select all the other linked parts of that seed. Let's click on the plus sign to add a new material. Click new, click assign, 
And now we're going to change this color to a yellow. Unless you want your seeds a different color, that's up to you. We're going to name it Strawberry Seeds. And then Control-C, Control-V, and paste, paste it into the viewport color. Pretty cool. While I have the seeds selected, I'm going to hit G and Z and bring them down a bit to so. All right, cool. Now, all we have to do is go over here. And what I'm going to do is actually I want to scale these down just a tad bit. So I'm just going to select all these. And by selecting one vertex, then I'm going to hit Control L and scale them down just a hair. Hey, I know. It's not always the bigger the better, all right? I want it a little bit smaller. <laughs> all right, there we go. Now let's go ahead and add in another array modifier. We're making use of the array modifier a lot today. All right, add modifier, array, bring it to the top, and bring down the relative offset to about so. You could also left click and drag and hold the shift key to move it in increments and then click on merge and first and last and then increase this amount right here. Oh, there it is. All right, cool. Now, how do we turn this into a strawberry? Because right now it's looking a little bit road killed. It's a flattened strawberry that's been run over by a steamroller. All right, I don't think it would look this nice though. The way we're gonna do that is shift A, we're gonna use a curve. And the curve we're gonna use is called a uh, Bezier circle. So, Bezier, which is French. So, going along with our French theme of the Claire and the Strawberry, guys, <laughs> we're gonna use a Bezier curve. All right. <laughs> so, the curve basically allows for you to many different things, but one of which is to manipulate your object by allowing your object to follow along a curve, which is what we're gonna do here. So, hitting the R key and then X and 90 degrees, we're gonna rotate that 90 degrees and then selecting our squished strawberry let's go to head add modifier and select curve and we're gonna select from the curve modifier the object bezier curve now that looks interesting to say the least alex that doesn't look like a strawberry i know hitting tab to go into edit mode let's select everything with the a key s to scale it down and now if we hit tab to go into object mode, you can see it's fine, except it's way off the center of our circle. So back into edit mode, what we're gonna do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're gonna hit the G key and bring this so that it is next to the center of our origin point, which is this little atom slash uh, molecule right here. That's the origin of our object. So hit G and Z and just bring this right on top of the center of the object. Now if we hit tab to go back into object mode, you can see it's perfectly fine. And if we increase the count right here to something like so, we can have it wrap around the whole place. And right now it's sticking out a little bit, so selecting the circle. Selecting the circle, if we hit S on the circle, we could scale this up a bit. So depending on how many seeds or sections you want your strawberry to have, I'm not sure what's happening right there. Let's see what's happening here. So right here we seem to have an issue and it ain't but a thing. So right here all we have to do is go ahead and let's try to decrease this offset right here. Or increase it, I'm sorry. Let's increase that and then increase the merge first and last a little bit. And maybe. Two. So, all right, there we go. Sometimes you get a little glitch right there. So it's, it's all good. It ain't but a thing, ladies and gentlemen. So making sure of that. Now selecting the curve. Let's hit S to scale this up and bring it as close as you can to the other part. All right, so now what we're gonna do, making sure our strawberry is good, 
You can see that right here. We actually have a strange deformation right there. So what we're going to do is select all these. And the strawberry right there is actually this one right here. No, I think it's this one right there. It's actually this one right here. There we go. So with this one selected, I'm just going to increase the merge amount right here. Decrease it. There we go. All right. So again, you want to make sure before you apply it that the relative offset and the distance on the merge amount is good because otherwise it merges too far. All right. Cool. There we go. Now it's all fine and dandy. And once again, you know, you just roll with the flow and I'm, sh I'm, I'm actually leaving that in there because sometimes people wonder why is my strawberry like that? And so, so, you know, we bump into things along the way. It's, you handle it as you go, which is the beauty of it. So now all we have to do is click on apply on the array modifier and then apply on the curve modifier. Now hitting tab to go into edit mode, we're going to select these vertices, hit G and hold down control and merge these like so. And then hit A to select everything and W remove doubles. And another reason I left that in there is because sometimes, you know, if I'm following along with a tutorial of, of something and something happens with me and I don't get the same results, I'm wondering why is my mesh deforming strangely like that and I can't figure it out. And that's something as simple as, oh, I put the distance too high you know, it can happen to the best of us. So <laughs> let's delete the busy air circle as well. And now how do we add this to more of a uh, strawberry? Well, first thing I'm going to do is hit tab to go into edit mode. You can see that right here. It's a little wiggly. So alt right click this whole edge loop and we're going to hit S and Y and then zero to flatten it out. So that's another little cool trick that you can use. Let's do it the same at the bottom. Alt right click S Y zero. And that basically scales it along the Y axis zero times, which basically flattens it completely. Now, guess what we're going to use ladies and gentlemen? Yes. An array modifier. So go to add modifier and let's click on array. We're going to change the offset from X axis to the Y. So let's put one on the Y axis. And now I'm going to click on merge first and last. And you can see that right here, it's kind of, there's kind of a indentation. So let's increase this distance until it starts merging over here and maybe decrease this as well. Sorry, increase it. Bring it to about, just bring it to right before it starts merging. I'm going to turn off the subsurf modifier because it's going to be a lot easier. Right around there. And of course we want to put the array modifier first. And then just increase the distance to so. And we could turn back the subsurf modifier on. All right, cool. Let's increase the array count to four. And there we go. There's our strawberry. <laughs> probably wondering, Alex, that's not funny. <laughs> well, you know, like I said, we have GMO strawberries, but they don't look this bad yet. So let's shape up our strawberry a little bit. The way we're going to do that is very simple. Hitting shift A, we're going to use something called a lattice. Now a lattice, this is one of my favorite things. You are absolutely going to love this if this is your first time using it and uh, you're going to love it. All right. So lattice basically allows for you to squash and stretch your object. You can see that if we hit, now hit the S key, we have a cube, except this is a magical cube that allows for you to do magical things. So hitting seven to go into top view and then five to go into orthographic view. Let's bring the cube up and scale it up with the S key so that it surrounds our whole strawberry. And then three to go into side view, make sure that it's lined up fine here as well. All right, now selecting the strawberry, let's go to add modifier. And before we do that, I'm going to bump the subdivision view to one. So that's not as slow. And I'm going to go to add modifier, click on lattice, and then we're going to put the object to lattice. 
Now, selecting the lattice, if we go to the lattice options over here, which is this little box, you can see that we have some options here. The main ones you're going to use is U, V, and W, which is basically the X, Y, and Z axis. Now, if we increase this amount, you can see that it subdivides it along the V axis. So let's put this to seven. And now hitting tab to go into edit mode. If we now hit or select any of these points, you can see that we can move it around and it squashes and stretches our strawberry. How cool is that? This kind of reminds me of those uh, wacky inflatable sales thingies. <laughs> I was trying to find the reference from Family Guy, but I couldn't remember. All right. Let's hit the Z key to go to wireframe and select all of these because once again, these have four points to each of them. And then hitting seven to go into top view, we're gonna turn on proportional editing. So what this does is basically, if you go down here and click on enable, if we now hit the S key, you can see that we have a circle of influence. And if we scale this up, we can now scroll our mouse wheel up and down to influence the scaling of the surrounding geometry. So just like a strawberry, I believe a strawberry is rounder in the middle for the most part. <laughs> so let's scale this up and then going into wireframe to select those. Let's scale this one down, maybe bringing down the influence a little bit. And then at the top, same thing, scale this down and G and Y and bring this down to about so. Like I said, I say to about so quite a bit. All right, so there we go. And I'm going to give it a little bit of a rounder shape right there. All right, cool. Hitting five to get out of uh, orthographic, go into perspective view. You can see that now we have the start of a strawberry. Pretty awesome, if I do say so myself. So there we go, that is part one of it. We're gonna continue in part two with adding the chocolate, the most important part, and of course the stem and the little leaves at the top, and then finishing it up with adding a little bit of a scene, putting it together. All right, so very cool, very well done. And with that, I will see you in the second part of the tutorial. And uh, oui, on va continuer dans la deuxième partie. That means yes, we're gonna continue in the second part. Click the link below, check out the course. I'll see you in the second part. All right, ciao for now. Au revoir.